Tonight is June the 13th, 2017, and uh, we're back with our Analog Discovery 2 device. I made a video on it just the other night uh, uh, about the oscilloscope and the signal generator, which turned out to be very nice. Uh, I think it's well worth using and having that, especially for audio work. Um, tonight, I was going to evaluate the, uh, the voltmeter and the FFT device, which is a uh, spectrum analyzer. Well, I've been working with this thing quite a bit, and um, it's a little interesting. DC, it works fine. You have to uh, change your little uh, probes here to, to put it in DC mode. So you have DC coupling. Let me unhook this. Got it hooked to an amplifier right now because I've just been messing with it. And we'll put it over here on, on a scope calibrator and set it up for DC. And there's 5 volts right there. And we get, so I haven't even cranked it up yet. Oh, by the way, I do have a skylight filter on the uh, on the camera, hoping that that helps the uh, glare a little bit. Thanks for the suggestion. Uh, voltmeter. Let's open it up and say run. There it is, 5.003. It's smack on. And this calibrator is right too. I don't think I need to show you, but if I uh, plug it into this guy right here, it's it's right. So uh, we've got the right device to check it with. And the DC is correct. That's five volts. Let's see, we'll, we'll go up here, we'll go to 10. You know, this is, this is boring. There it is, 10.007. Very good, right? Okay. Now, let's take it, uh, let's just, just to keep the video from being too terribly long, let's just get to the point here. Its AC part is just really pretty bad. Okay, I've got it hooked up to this little uh, 6B4 amp. We're running it at low power like 8 watts and um, just pumping different frequencies into it. There it is. Okay, well let me see. I want to show you that this is really pretty disappointing the way that it behaves. Okay, there's 20 hertz. Let's put this thing at um, sorry I should have had all this already set up but I've been tinkering with it so much. Let's see, there's 60 hertz. Right there. 60 hertz and the real number is 7.03 or so. And it says it's 7.101. Well, it's not too bad wrong. It doesn't have any DC components, so you can ignore that. It says it's 7.1. And it's sort of there. Let's see, I believe earlier when I went down to 50 hertz, I believe it was actually more correct down there. Well, yeah, our, our amplifier is staying the same. Well, not exactly. It's kind of jumping around. But here's the part that is, is just kind of sad. Let's set it down here to, to 20 hertz. Not that we're really... Okay, yeah, we'll measure it at 20 hertz. There it is, 20. Real answer is 7 volts again. Our amplifier is very stable. And it says it's a 7.1. Okay. Now let's go to... 200 Hertz. It's still 703. It says it's 7.1. I know I'm moving around a lot. Let's go to 2 kilohertz. Here's our 2 kilohertz. Still 703. 6.456. What? What happened here? Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's do the numbers. Supposed to be uh, 703, uh, 7.03, enter, 6.456, 6.456, divide. That's, um, you can see that, that's 1.08, that's 8% error if we do the reciprocal of that. We'll see a 92%, 91.8. See, it's off by 8%, 8.2%. 
if we go up to uh, the two kilohertz now, if we go up to even five kilohertz, three, four, there, five. There's our five kilohertz. So we've got our 7.0 round up to three. And now it says it's 3.14. It's 50% error. 7.03. Three point four one three, three point four one three divide. See, it's off by a factor of two point five nine. It's hard to do all this with one hand, but if we take the reciprocal of that, it's only uh, forty eight point five percent of what it should be. Things by off more than fifty percent. I've done this over and over and over. It's just hard to believe that the AC is so bad. I thought it would be excellent. The scope channel is good. The signal generator is good. I'd buy it. Well, I did. I bought it, didn't I? But there's definitely something wrong with that AC voltmeter. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's move on. Let's go over here and go into Windows. You can see I know how to fly it a little bit better now. Let's go down here to Spectrum and start this guy and say run and we'll right click on T2 out there to turn the blue trace off okay first thing it does is, is it comes up in linear uh, linear X scale down here that's got to go so you go right up here to this little down arrow and then you can go over here and change it to uh, log and there we go well that's a little better huh now you remember it's only 14 bits and the, num the maximum number of bins, well, the only number of bins you get is 4097. So it's a little limited here, but we've got, a, we've got a decent display. At least we see the fundamental and two harmonics. Not very good. Uh, we can improve that. I've noticed that if I um, go over here and I change the range, see it said at 200 dBV. If I change it to like 80, change it way down here, uh, it kind of goes off the scale. Now, let me, let me see. How do I get that back up? Oh, yeah. I've got to change this to um, 40. No, nope, the other way around. To, uh, say, 0. Well, there it is right there. Okay. Now, we also need to change the... Uh, we're looking at from 1 hertz to uh, a megahertz. Now, we don't want that. So, we'll change it some uh, tw 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz. Uh, wow, input voltage out of range. Oh, you know why? Yes, 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 yes. We gotta put it in times 10. Okay, sorry, I was overdriving it there. Okay, overdriving it. I had in, uh, the probe in times one a while ago. I can take the probe off and put on a straight one-to-one -one B and C at, uh, for those DC measurements and get the same thing. Okay, let's see. We got it set here at about 80 dBV. Hope the camera's doing okay on that. And if we set this to maybe uh, 20, no, like I said, I get mixed up. Got to go the other way. Say minus 30. There it is, right there. We can see our fundamental, and we can see the second and the third harmonic. We can actually even see the uh, 60 hertz down here. So it's kind of worth something. Get that glare off. This neutral density filter helps a little bit, but not a whole lot. If we look at, uh, like if we compare it to, say, um, the uh, Spectre Plus right here, configuration for kilohertz and then say uh, run run there it is so we're looking out same same spectral level fundamental second third fourth fifth we can see the second we can see the fourth and the fifth down here we can see the 60 Hertz down here very nice of course this, this one's running at uh, 65k bins 
It's also 24 bit instead of 14 bit. And it's also at 192 kilohertz. That give, gives us a whole lot better display. So I tend to believe this one. This one, uh, it says that TSD is about 0.326. The real answer is about 0.3, which is okay, you know. This is at 5 kilohertz. Uh, let's go back to our analog discovery. So, there you go. Well, I'll tell you what let's do. A while ago, I was doing most of my testing here at, at like 2 kilohertz. Let's go back down there. Okay, there we're at 2. 0.248 about 0.25 THD this one says it is um, 0.28 that's good okay there's our spectral display there we can see second third fourth fourth fifth six seven whatever let's just look at two three four and five and then we go over here to um, our analog discovery and we see two and three see four and five are down here in the noise it's not worthless, and there's our 60 hertz down there again. It's not worthless, uh, but it's, uh, it, it's it's 14 bits and it's bin rate up here. It makes it uh, a little less than perfect. But to be fair with it, let's take it off of here and put it over here. Whoops, gotta get this thing. And put it over here, at, say, at one megahertz. So you can look at some RF with it. And let's clip this guy on and look at a megahertz. One megahertz at about 10 dBm. And if we stretch this thing out, say from, um, oh, I don't know, uh, 100 kilohertz out to, um, what, five megahertz. Well, there it is. See, there's one megahertz. There's two megahertz, three, four. We can see the harmonics. So the scope channel and the FFT channel uh, actually have a pretty good frequency response. You know, so it is what it is. I mean, if I'm doing something incredibly stupid, uh, let me know and I'll delete this video and do it right. <clears throat> By moving the uh, uh, this right here around, you can kind of move this you can move this thing down. Uh, Tektronics calls it a baseline clipper. Let's see if we make it say minus 10. There you go. You don't need to see all that. You just need to see just see what you can see above the noise. That's a decent display of 100 megahertz with uh, second and third and and even fourth harmonic. You can see it popping in there a little bit. But uh, that's my assessment of it, ladies and gentlemen grand little a scope grand little signal generator DC voltmeter is fine the AC voltmeter isn't worth a hoot and the FFT device is um, better than nothing actually usable so that's what it is I'm running it uh, off this little 6B4 amp I've shown this thing a number of times it does a, a really good 10 honest watts and sounds great so, uh, I'm disappointed in that. I, I just don't understand. Maybe it needs a software upgrade or something. And um, but that's what I get. I've done this thing so many times thinking I must be doing something wrong. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, and, uh, and I hope this helps for what it's worth.